Hey everyone, welcome back to the food truck build. Uh, today, Steve and I are actually templating. Um, what we're gonna have is a basically an old saw, like an old buck saw. You see there, come off from our shop truck over here. Uh, sun visor for this thing. However, we're not gonna use an actual saw blade. We're gonna actually get our friend over at uh, Main Off Road. TJ is gonna cut it out for us. So right now, as you can see, we're kind of trying to figure out there's a tape line here and where it's gonna sit down on the windshield. And then the contour, we don't want like a super big arc because that windshield is fairly decently arced. Um, this has like a three quarter inch to a one inch arc total on it. Um, I think we're going to trace that to get that arc right. Um, and then cut it out, put it up there and see what it looks like. And then we're going to move on and also template out our grill. Um, because we're going to do, be doing a custom grill on this thing as well. So we're going to cut that out. So we're recycling the cardboard that came with the window on the other side of the food truck um, to use as our template. So we get a straight edge across the back. We decided to go straight across the top of the roof. Um, it's gonna simplify our mounting prop it, uh, the mounting, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. To simplify the mounting. <laughs> so we're gonna cut it out and get it on there. We're gonna have some ribs over the top of it as well to try to get it. It'll make more sense when we get it cut out, okay? Just bear with me. All right, here we go. Basically it's literally just traced where the tips of the teeth were along the cardboard here and back to where our tape line is straight across. We're gonna cut this out, we're gonna set it on there, one, see how it looks from a standoff, and then figure out our mounting from there. Probably, I'm thinking probably three. Right, center, left. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, see, we cut it out, I told you it was gonna work. All right, Steve's holding it up here. Um, kind of cheated because we already looked at it once and we are happy with it. Uh, that is gonna be pretty badass. And uh, visually from inside the truck, it doesn't affect it at all. It's got that slight contour, so it's going to go down and follow the roof line onto the windshield. You can kind of see the slight contour, which it's identical because we traced that saw blade, so it matches that. Um, we chose to keep the sharp edge like this because that's how an old buck saw would be. And um, then straight across the back. And now we're going to come up with a couple, basically just some tabs that could... Oh, I have an idea for that too. Um, yeah, like garage door straps. Yeah. And then we're gonna make make a gusset, or not a gusset, but a uh, like a vertical support across the flats with basically an old wrench. Um, so I think we got our base template done anyway. That's awesome. So someplace I have some old barn hinges, and I don't know where they are, but I gotta find them. But anyway, whether we use the hinge or the a piece of flat steel, these are gonna be mounted to the top as welded to the top as a support for that windshield uh, visor and or saw blade. So straight up wrenches. And now, Steve's cutting out the grill right here as you see, because we're gonna template out a grill as well. So this whole center section is gonna go. Nope. All right, I knew I had my barn hinges. They were exactly where I thought they'd be, except not. They were actually pretty organized. So this is the straps right here that we're gonna use. And honestly, Jesus, I'm good with that. We bend a little contour starting at mm -hmm. that, center hole. Set that center hole to match the contour of the roof. Then the, the wrench goes down. There's one hole, maybe another hole. Boom. All right, sweet. All right, now that we got our uh, first one kind of butchered, I got three fresh barn door straps that I'm gonna bend up to meet the contour of our saw blade roof. She's over here cutting the uh, center of the grill out. <clears throat> then we're gonna template that with cardboard as well. All right, we got the uh, cardboard for the grill. Rough template, so he's gonna cut it out. We're gonna get it tweaked until we can get it to drop in there where we want it, and then it's gonna be basically gonna say BBQ in the center. Um, and it's gonna be some straight bars going across. So we, we just need the shape and then our plasma guy can work his magic with that, TJ. All right, uh, I'm not sure I got this in our last video, but we're working on our mirror brackets and our mirrors themselves. And uh, we got our horseshoe mounted to this one and the other side is gonna have like a little uh, gusset here with a bottle opener in it on the driver's side. This would be the passenger side, this would be the food side serving side of the truck. That's gonna get black. And I went ahead and sandblasted and particle coated the outside of the mirrors in what they call gator black. And it literally is just that. It looks like gator hide. I love this stuff. The uh, bobber we did, bobbin weave up there, um, 
we did the whole frame in this and it always gets people talking and people love it. Um, so I talked to Steve about it and we're gonna go ahead and do the mirrors in this right here. So that is pretty freaking rad. All right, we've got a big template day going on today. So basically we're gonna fill in a little bit of this fender well on the rear of the truck. Uh, we'll have an, about a one inch flange around the inside so we can actually mount it to the body of the truck. Roughly about like so. And if I can hold it steady, like so. And the sawtooth, like on the windshield visor, the wind visor in the front, we're gonna carry it along the sides as well. So that's gonna be on the side of the truck, both sides of the truck as well. So there's another template. Steve's refining the uh, the actual grill now that's gonna have the BBQ in the center. I think we looked at, what, four inch tall uh, letters. So we're getting close on our templates. All right, we're talking exhaust stack now, guys. Um, so this is a five inch piece of exhaust pipe we have and we're doing a hex stack um so we're just kind of proportioning and trying to get an idea on the size and i think steve and i both agree that five inch is the where it has to go it doesn't look ridiculous like a six or an eight inch but it'll be noticeable and it's also going to be a hexagon so we got to figure out exactly how big um and how big of a piece of, of steel we need to bend up and then there's going to be an also after we make that we're gonna have an overlay that said says Becker's barbecue, right? Yep. Right down, right down the front of it, as well as cutting some basically flames into the top of this. And that's not it, but that's all I'm gonna say for now. All right, we were talking exhaust, now we're talking rockers. And actually, so this is the passenger side, it's not that bad. Um, it's a little tender here and there. I think when we needle gun, we may find a few holes. However, um, Steve picked up these replica tin signs, they're real thin. And what we're gonna do is basically bend them to the contour of the rocker, right on down. So it's literally gonna be like a sign on there as a body patch. So that's kind of the plan for the sides. Um, he actually ordered a slip-on rocker to replace or go over the one on the driver's side because that one is fairly bad. But to kind of give you an idea, I'll show you what we did on the shop truck. Just, it's something similar. Um, they do both sides? Yeah. So this one here I did with license plates. But it's the same idea. It's basically a body patch. Um, and that one is actually in the door, but this one goes over it and behind it. Uh, kind of kind of gives it a cool rat look, rod look. So that'll look cool on his rockers as well. All right, so we're just kind of talking and planning out. Steve actually has another week off coming up uh, to really put some hard time into this thing. And we were talking about the lights and losing some of the lights and basically the three lights in the, uh, the center of the thing. Uh, one of Steve's friends had the idea to add a backup camera to the center, which is a great idea. It's the perfect time to do it. And then we were just talking about adding some pod lights. I keep calling them pod lights. I don't know if that's the right word, but some small LED lights, like a floodlight that he can turn on on the switch inside. So at nighttime when he's cleaning up back here, he's cleaning the smoker up, he can boom and have a real good lighting. Um, as far as the back goes, we have some weld repair we're going to do on these cracks. And we just talked about this where his ramp goes because he's keeping his ramp as well. Um, we're going to needle gun all this and get it down to bare what's left of it. And then we're going to cap it with a new piece of eighth inch steel as well. Um, this is going away. This is actually coming off completely. So this is going to look a lot different back here. Um, but for now, obviously, this is what we got. And I don't know if we mentioned it in the other video about he ordered the door. Yeah. And then the sheathing that's going to go around the door is then going to get brick fascia yep so we're going to be doing that as well so that's going to break up the black and look totally badass for our actually i forgot about that the propane bottle yep bomb bottle both it's gonna look awesome all right i just had an idea i was just playing around with a can of spray paint and a saw blade to kind of randomly put some some saw marks in this thing um now granted the food truck's going to be a uh like a satin black color so if i was going to overlay it with saw blade marks i would do that in like a gloss black over the satin so you'd have this look but it would be even more subtle and it would almost look smoked in there um what do you guys think drop a comment something we should do or not welcome to my party Talk we're just getting started party. a life is a dream or a nightmare scarring hand me a drink because i think i'm going all in get me a stream who can catch me when i'm falling cover up my scars flip the handlebars crash it in my car wake up in a bar Although it's your mother I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit
是大